And Kelly Skipper and Julius Pitts will be deep for Fresno State. Long Beach, 6-4 and four overall, 4-1 four and one in the PCAA. Fresno State, 8-0-1 and 6-0 and oh in the league. It'll be Pitts, and he will kneel down about six yards deep in the end zone. So Fresno State will take over with the first down from their 20. And at quarterback for Fresno State will be Kevin Sweeney. He has completed 59% of his passes. Anthony Mosley will be the fullback and Kelly Skipper the tailback. The receivers, Gene Taylor, he's the number one receiver for the Bulldogs. Stephen Baker, Mark Scambre. And the offensive line, Lerma Chulansif, he's filling in for Barry Grove. Mike Savage, Terry Lafitte, and Greg Lovering. Here's the first play from scrimmage, and it'll be Kelly Skipper sweeping around the right side. And Kelly is hit down right around the 23. Tackle made by Mark Faust, a senior defensive tackle from Long Beach. They will spot the ball down right around the 22, so credit Skipper with a two-yard game. On defense for the 49ers, Hensley, Faust, Heidi, and Meyer Bachtol. Linebackers, McKeever, Carter, and Cummings. Carter, the leading tackler. Alexander, James, Ryan, and Beavers in the secondary. Second and eight, Fresno State from the 22. Kevin Sweeney goes out to his right. McKeever is after him, and Kevin will step out of bounds. He'll pick up maybe one yard up to the 23. It was McKeever running him out of bounds. Well, on that play, uh, Kevin was forced out of his pocket. He didn't want to roll out. But uh, the protection broke down a little bit, and he didn't have time to find a receiver open. Brings third up and, a, third and up seven a, at the 23. Third seven. Mike Moffat is the tight end now for Fresno State. Baker comes out wide left, and Taylor is wide right. From the Fresno State 23. Kevin Sweeney. Sweeney going for Baker, puts it up there, and overthrows it. Back on defense was Leonard Simpkins for Long Beach. And Kevin put up there, but he overthrew him by about five yards. Well, the Bulldogs have been slow starters all fall, Mike. Yeah, they seem to, uh, to have trouble getting going in that first quarter. That's been the history of the games we've watched. Mike Mancini, averaging 42.3 yards a punt, takes a snap from Dugan and gets it away. Here comes Ponte Hampton. Oh, a great tackle brings Hampton down at the 30-yard line. A 48-yard punt and a sure tackle by the man who made the snap, Chris Dugan, right at the 30-yard line of Long Beach. Well, that was a great tackle by Dugan. In fact, he held gain the return uh, down to a minimum. And still, the Longs has pretty good field position, though, starting at about their own 30-yard line. You're looking at the offensive line for Long Beach. Quarterback Doug Gaynor.
Long Beach. Veteran Stadium has been the home of the 49ers for the last three years, but the 49ers have some difficult facilities here, if you can call them that, because the stadium holds only 12,500. The field is in bad shape. The press box across the way, normally we would be above the press box, but they have no facilities for television. So a special little uh, booth, if you can call that, had to be constructed on a scaffolding here at Veteran, at Veteran Stadium. When I saw this, Michael, what we had to climb up to get her up these ladders, I said I was sorry that our Spartans, uh, that I made them run up and down those stadium stairs. When you were coaching at Michigan State, Gaines having a tough time controlling it, and they're going to, yeah, his knee was down. So his knee touched down at the nine-yard line, and that's where Long Beach will start. About 50 degrees right now here in Long Beach. The Bulldogs, 17 to 7. And Doug Gaynor will be a quarterback for Long Beach. We'll check the rest of the backfield. They started with Michael Roberts and Martin Sarton in the backfield. Let's see how they come out. Yep, Sarton is in there, and so is Michael Roberts. Templeton had been starting a lot of their games, along with Sheldon Gaines in the backfield. From the nine-yard line, the inside handoff to Roberts. Roberts gets a couple of yards, moving it up to the 13. The Bulldogs showed him that three-man front, but just before the snap of the ball, the linebacker moved up into the line and gave him a different four-man look and was very effective in stopping, holding Roberts to about a two-yard gain. George Peterson made the tackle on Roberts. If you're just joining us on the telecast, Doug Gaynor has thrown only 12 times in this game. He has been sacked four times. Kevin Sweeney has thrown 15, has yet to be sacked. Gaynor dumps this one off to Templeton at the 15, the 20, 25, and then he is wrapped up and thrown back to the 24. They will mark his forward progress to the 26. The tackle was made by Michael Stewart and Roar Kelly. I'm surprised that, that the 49ers haven't just continually tried to throw underneath because when they do, it's been most effective. And it's hard to rush a passer and keep him from getting off those short passes. A pickup of 13 yards on the pass play. Gainer to Templeton. First down, Long Beach at the 49er 26-yard line. 17-7, Fresno. Gainer, he has time. Now he's running out of time. Nichols has him, and he throws it down. That should have been intentionally grounding right there. There was no... They, they just threw that to get rid of the ball. He, he didn't have any Long Beach backs within a three-yard vicinity of that ball. I think the referee called it dead. He called it a sack. Quite Byron short. Nichols gets him, and that is the fifth time that Gaynor has been sacked. This Fresno State defense, an unknown quality when the season began, and Jim Sweeney has been quoted as saying... Our linebackers, our secondary, our entire defense, the best I've ever been associated with. And you must remember, Jim Sweeney has been a head coach for 21 years. High praise indeed. And he's been a good coach for, for the, all those years. Gaynor on second and 27. Doug Gaynor across the middle to Lockett, and Lockett lost the ball. And the lights, I believe, he was well covered, too, by Rod Webster. What lights? <laughs> well, they're all, you're right, Duffy Darty. Let's see, I can almost count them. One, two, three. You have six. We have six strands of lights out here at the uh, stanchions, three on each side. The, the lights aren't that good. It must be difficult for receivers to see the ball accurately and also to field punts. It's very difficult. Now it's third and 27 for Long Beach. We would call your attention again to Bulldog Basketball, Selden Arena, next Saturday night, 7.30 here on TV 26. Sarton, oh, was he nailed. Sarton was belted in his tracks, and the hit made by Anthony Collier. Collier really poured into him. A 240-pound junior stopping Martin Sarton. Look at that. Look at that big number, 92. Collier, Anthony Collier hit him right at the line of scrimmage. Lemers back to putt. Vince Wesson is deep. Wesson will feel the ball. Fumbles the ball at the 50. Did Wesson cover? Yes, he did. I think he might have taken his eye off of the ball right about midfield, but he made the recovery at the 49. 
Well, he did that earlier in the year, and that's, he was, then Baker went in and took his place in returning punts. Look for Baker to be there for the next punt. I was just going to say, I doubt if you'll see Vince Wesson fielding any more punts tonight. And he's a good, he has good hands, too. It's, it's hard to catch that ball, and he's light. That was a 43-yard punt, and now Fresno State in great shape with a first down from their own 49. James Williams to the 41-yard line. Williams punching it in very close to a first down. And Williams now has 72 yards carrying. First down, Fresno State. James Williams. When Williams runs like that way, when he's got his nose headed forward toward that goal line, when he's running north or running south, he's a very effective runner. Taylor coming out wide to the left side. First and 10 at the Long Beach 41. Williams trying to make his cut at the 40, down to the 35, to the 34. A pickup of seven more by Williams. Tackle made by Don Heidi from Alhambra. You don't realize that Williams has gained that much until the end pile, and it's second and four, and Steve, it looks like he's only gained two or three yards. Now up to 79 yards. He's averaging five yards a carry. And remember, when he hits 100, it'll be the sixth time this season he's rushed for 100 or more yards. His best in the opener, 156 against UNLV. It's Williams again, flipping down to the 28 of Long Beach. A pickup of six more, Mac McKeever, the left linebacker, flipping down. Here he goes, Williams. He landed right on his chest, but only after picking up a first down. Fresno State with the first down at the Long Beach 28. The Dogs 17, the 49ers 7. Early in the third quarter, Kevin Sweeney has time, fires it, knocked away, and intercepted. Val James coming up with it, and nope, they say no good. They wave it off. It appeared at first that Val James had made the interception as Sweeney was going to Taylor. He did a good, James does a good job of acting here. Val James, watch him. And the ball is, I think it's trapped. Watch here. Yeah, the, the ball hit the ground and bounced back up, and he came up and he did a great job of acting. He should get an Academy Award for that. At least get nominated. Second and ten, the ball at the 28. Taylor left, Baker right. Now Moffat moves over tight end on the left side. Kevin sets up, and the ball is yard loose just as he cocked the arm forward. Val James, the cornerback, right in there on the numbers of Kevin Sweeney. There were too many men outside there. Kevin tries to get outside, but he can't get outside to contain because the cornerback back is, is firing, and he did bat the ball, and Kevin had no chance to get the ball off. Now it's third down coming up. Third and ten at the 28 of Long Beach. Stephen Baker to the left side, Taylor to the right. And off goes to Thomas, and Thomas moves down to the 23. A gain of five, and the tackle on Thomas made by Gino Marchese. We're going to have another field goal attempt, Mike. Mancini will hold, Belli to kick. Making the snap will be Chris Dugan. This would be from the 30-yard line. Thus, a 40-yard field goal attempt by Barry Belli, the sophomore from Bakersfield. It's off to the left. No good. Belli misses the field goal. And with 10.45 left in the third quarter, Fresno State still leading by 10 over Long Beach. An institution with the dimension and stability of SUMA Health Plan is built on one foundation, understanding the needs of those we serve. SUMA Health Plan is a Valley original, born in the Valley to provide the best health care possible with no financial worry. Thirteen Valley hospitals, more than 400 Valley doctors. SUMA Health Plan protects individuals and businesses in Fresno, Madera, and Kings Counties. SUMA, all the care you'll ever need. Doug Gaynor has to scramble, but penalty markers are down. Gaynor from the 23-yard line got up to around the 35, but we will await the penalty. Anthony Dollarhide ran Gaynor out of bounds. Holding against Long Beach. 
Another penalty against the 49ers. They've certainly had a lot of inopportune penalties. Any penalties in are inopportune, but uh, the penalties have, have hurt the 49ers tremendously this evening. And a lot of them are unnecessary. They're dead ball fouls and things that, they've, that have hurt them, caused, caused them to give up one touchdown and also gave one to the to the Bulldogs. Almost double in the penalties, or at least the yardage, that is. Long Beach over Fresno. <laughs> That'll move the ball all the way back to the... 13. And he can't believe that he dropped that pass at the 30. I can't believe he dropped it either. That was very well thrown by Gaynor, and it would have brought him up uh, close to a first down, within three yards of a first down. And Mike Shepard, the Long Beach coach, can't Watch believe here. it right either. There. Well, he might have heard the footsteps, though, of Byron Nichols. So the ball goes all the way back to the 12, and it'll be second and 19. Long Beach, 6-4, and 4-1 four, four and one in the league. Fresno State, 8-0-1, oh 6-0 and oh in the PCAA. And the Dogs have a 17-7 lead with 10 and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Gainer, look out. Olsen is right after him. Just did get it loose. Over to Martin Sarton. Sarton to the 30. 40. Sarton out of bounds near midfield. Out of bounds at the 49. Rorick Kelly, the right cornerback, was able to get him out at the 49. Here's a screen pass thrown by Gaynor. The Sarton, there comes the lineman out as a one-man screen. Gets a good block on number five, Stewart. Sarton has good speed. Sits, finally knocked out bounds. That good block, by the way, was the left guard for Long Beach, number 66, Dixon Palafila. I couldn't pick up his number, but he did an excellent job on Stewart. Beach with a first down from their own 49. Gainer will try it again across the middle to Ori. Ori's at the 30 to the 29 of Long Beach. That's a gain of 31 more yards. And now Gainer is opening up with that strong right arm. Rod Webster made the tackle on Troy Ori. O R Y. Well, here it is. Look, Gainer standing back there has all day long. He's hit after he throws it, but he had all day long to pick out a receiver. And he's an excellent passer. He's very experienced. He's a senior. And you give him that much time, he's going to com going to find somebody open. He's going to complete the pass. Gainer's stats are improving now. I mentioned just moments ago, 292 yards, but a couple of long ones now puts him up over 200 yards. Gainer just does get it off to Mark Templeton at the 30. Templeton is nailed at the 25. The hit made by Cliff Hanneman, the junior rover linebacker. Here he is. Good. Another screen pass out in the flat. He runs by Stewart. Then Hanneman comes in and makes the tackle. Templeton is only a junior from Santa Ana. He has 153 career receptions. That is a PCAA record, 153 catches in his career. Rick Trogero is the tight end now for Long Beach, replacing Losey. Lockett, wide receiver to the right side, cutting across the middle. Gainer looking for him, going to Lockett, and it's, oh, it's almost intercepted. Oh, did Lockett take a hit? Well, that's a legitimate play. Once the ball has reached that plane, the, the receiver's fair game. And Michael Stewart really lowered the boot oh, right here. Stewart really gave it to him. That's Excedrin headache number 232. There's another Long Beach player down on the down on the turf now, injured. An injury timeout for Long Beach. We have nine minutes left. 17-7. Fresno State leads. Hello, my name is Pete Deceres, and I'm the general manager and resident gemologist for Autumn Sun Diamond and Jewelry Brokers. 
Autumn Sun dares to offer you popular jewelry style priced at least 30% below our lowest competitor. We are offering our entire 14 karat gold chain and bracelet inventory for $12 a gram. That's about half what you could pay anywhere else. Plus, loose diamonds at actual wholesale dealer prices. And we'll show you our price sheets. Allow us to help educate and consult with you on your next jewelry purchase. We're Autumn Sun. That was Byron Browning who took that hit. Lock it to the left. Twenty Hampton to the right. Ori is in the slot to the right. Lone running back is Martin Sarton. Ori in motion. Gainer. Receivers are covered. And Gainer will be tackled out of bounds. Right near the 23-24 yard line. Cliff Hanneman doing the honors. It's going to leave, uh, leave them three or four yards short of a first down, I believe, Mike. They, uh, I think it'd be fourth and about three. It may see a field goal attempt. Mitch Reinhardt doing our statistical work up here as you look at Mike Shepard with the headset. Dave Walden, our director of player personnel. Nicosia out over the ball, and Dave Taylor will try a field goal from the 30-yard line out of the hold of backup quarterback Jeff Graham. Snap was a little bit high. Taylor gets it away, and it's good. A 40-yard field goal by Dave Taylor. So the Fresno State lead now is trimmed to seven points with 8.45 left in the third quarter. Portions of today's game are brought to you in part by Home Savings of America, over $24 billion strong. Work hard all week, then what do I do? I work all weekend. Seems like you've got to just to keep up. You've got to work at saving money. Me, I've got short-term accounts and long-term accounts and IRA accounts, and I found a good solid place to keep them, too. Home Savings. Because one day I'm going to quit all this work. And by then, these guys ought to be big enough to hold up a hammock. It's people like Nick West who make home savings $24 billion strong. MicroAge has teamed up with Amiga by Commodore to help you increase your business productivity. The Amiga has dazzling graphics, stereo sound, and immense power. You'll find features incorporated into the Amiga which are found only on computers costing thousands more. The Amiga is not only economical, it's incredible. When you're looking for a computer system, come to MicroAge. We offer more than computers. We provide solutions. Most of the time, the third period is most productive for Fresno State. But the dogs haven't scored yet, and that lead now has been cut to 17-10. to 10. Taylor kicks off. Pitts, skipper back deep, and that would have been a field goal. It went between the crossbars, or the goalposts over the crossbar. Automatic touchback, and Fresno State will have a first down at the 20. Taylor's done a nice job kicking for Long Beach tonight. Now let's see if Fresno can respond to this challenge with a first down at the 20. You've got to remember that Long Beach has been a good come-from-behind team. Down 20 feet of nothing to Hawaii, Long Beach won. They were down 21-7 to to UNLV. Long Beach came on to win. Sweeney dumps it off, complete up to the 27-yard line to James Williams. Williams has got the dirtiest jersey for Fresno State. That was a good underneath pass. To, to Williams came out of the backfield, and Kevin stepped forward in the pocket and hit him nicely and picked up seven yards. They need to put on a good drive now. It's very important to get down there and get at least a field goal or get something on the board. Second and three at the 27 of Fresno State. Here is Williams. And he gets the first down as he moves up to the 38. First down. 8.05 left, 17 to 10, Fresno State. Third quarter action. Mike Walden and Duffy Doherty from Veterans Stadium. And the damp chill of the air realizes we're midway through November. <laughs> That's right. I feel like I'm back in Michigan. I want to ask you about.
about that in just a moment. Split backs now, Thomas and Williams on first and ten from the 38. It's Williams. Williams with a nice jitterbug step. Moves up close to another first down. Looks like he's going to be about a yard shy. He will be, he will mark his progress at the 47. Tackle made by Mark Faust. That will put Williams over 100 yards for the night. A 108 to be exact. The sixth time this season that James Williams, the transfer from Taft Junior College from Brunswick, Georgia, has gone over 100 yards. The sixth time this season for Williams. Out of the shotgun. Kevin Sweeney loads it up. Across the middle. Complete to Baker. Baker at the 36. Baker gets loose. Baker still on his feet. And finally is put down at the 24. I tell you, they call him Stephen Baker, the touchdown maker. He's also a thrill a second. He's an exciting runner. He takes his pass. And, and watch, it's, so exci it's so exciting to watch him run. He, he, watch him he reverse his field. Now he gets hit. Reverse his field. They could have called a late hit on the 49ers again. Watch here. He gets, as he goes down, he gets hit. Then a two fellas come in late. Of course, with Baker, the way he squirms around there, you never know whether he's down or not. Ball is at the 24 of Long Beach. Baker has caught four for 132 yards. Williams turning the corner at the 20. And he's crunched down at the 17. Stacy Alexander, number two for Long Beach. He's a freshman from Atlanta, Georgia. So it's one Georgian meeting up with another. Williams is getting up rather slowly there. And, uh, uh, 114 yards now for James Williams. Personal foul against Long Beach. You called it, Duffy. Well, he, it, he, there's no uh, a team that keeps putting on the extras. They, um, it's a good thing that the officials are calling them close because it could develop into a real you know, dog fight and a lot of unnecessary uh, pushing and shoving and slugging. And there's no place in football for conduct like that. Penn State really gave it to Notre Dame today, 32 to nothing. Penn State, number one of the nation. The Nittany Lions of Joe Paterno are 10 and all. And here at 17 to 7, the Fresno State Bulldogs are driving with the ball at the nine. It is Ke Kelly Skipper. Didn't get in. He's about the one foot line, it looks like, isn't it? He almost did it. The freshman from Eugene, Oregon. And Skipper, they say, he started to come out of the game. They said, get right back in there, Kelly. Now they're calling him out again. It'll be second down. Skipper has 22 yards and four carries tonight. Full house backfield. Williams, touchdown. Fresno State. Well, that was a big drive. I'll say because Long Beach had just closed the gap to seven points and the Bulldogs come right back and show them a thing or two and get a touchdown. Six minutes left in the third quarter and Belli will be in to kick the extra point. <laughs> Fresno fans are making a lot of noise here tonight. The band is here, cheerleaders. I'm guessing about three, four thousand of the Red Wave here tonight in Long Beach. Drills it through, and it's 24-10, Fresno State with six minutes left in the third quarter. Shipload after shipload, Toyota's got more for 86. Hey, if you don't believe me, just stop in by your Central Valley Toyota dealer and see for yourself. See why Toyota is the number one selling import car in the U.S. and has been for the past 10 years. See the Tercels, Corollas, Camry, Celicas, and tough Toyota trucks that are going to keep us number one again in 86. You can bet your Central Valley Toyota dealers are going to deal to make it happen. And with a lineup like Toyota's, who can ask for anything more? You probably already know that beer is made from barley. Well, this is what it looks like. Now, most brewers buy their barley. What's different? One brewer grows all its own barley and has for over 40 years. Now, why is that? I mean, why not just buy the barley? Hey, barley's barley, isn't it?
Terry Belli will kick off to either Michael Roberts or Sheldon Gaines for Long Beach. The Bulldogs now with a 14-point lead, and uh, Jim Sweeney realizes he's not home yet. Six minutes left in this third quarter and in the fourth period. But Fresno State has been a good second-half team. It'll be Roberts at the 6 to the 10. 15. Roberts loose at the 30 and pulled out at the 31, and somebody lost the shoe. It was Roberts. The tackle made by Derek Ellen. Here's a touchdown run again. Sean Williams driving hard in from the one-yard line and putting the Bulldogs up. Here it is again. By the way, on that extra point by Barry Belli that gives him 89 points this year, that ties the PCAA season mark for kick scoring. 24-10 Fresno State. Gainer rifles this one to Quante Hampton, and he's sandwiched down at the 40-yard line. Quante Hampton. Number 89 is the big tight end for Long Beach, Greg Losey. Gainer is outstanding when he has a lot of time. But he has been sacked five times tonight. That's been the salvation for the Bulldogs. And he's been sacked 54 times this season. But when you pass as much, he's put it up about 360 times this season. Can he put it up this time? He gets away from Mike Walker. Now he unloads. No good. He was going for the tight end, Trugero. And Grayson had Trugero play very well. Trugero was near the sidelines anyway. And Grayson stepped right in front just to make sure. Well, Stewart is so uh, fast afoot, though. It takes a very fast and agile linebacker to contain him. Someone that's got... David uh, Grayson. Equal, yeah, have to, I'm talking about the quarterback. When, when, he, when, when he gets out there, he's, you, you've got to have someone <laughs> equally fast chasing him. That's right. Or a step faster. That tells the story on Doug Gaynor, the Long Beach quarterback tonight. 24-10, Fresno State. A little over five minutes to still to be played in this third quarter. A double spinner by Gaynor. Up to the 40, 45, down into Fresno State territory. Gaynor really showing some dazzling moves all the way down to the 36 of the Bulldogs. Now this was an outstanding play by Gaynor. He was going to throw the ball out in the flat, but the halfback was covered. Watch, let's watch it again. Gaynor was going to throw the ball right here, but the receiver's covered. So he set sail with himself, and watch his speed. He's big. He's six foot two, 215 pounds, and he runs just like a halfback. Remember, he got the uh, only touchdown so far in the game for Long Beach on a 12-yard run. First and 10 at the Fresno 36. Long Beach on the move. Trailing 24-10. Martin Sarton, Sheldon Gaines, the running backs for Doug Gaynor. Gaynor wants to go to Lockett. Charles Lockett has the ball and is punched out of bounds at the 18. Rod Webster knocking him out of bounds. It's just a down and out pattern and, and uh, you watch it, Gaynor gets back. He has a lot of, lot of protection, a lot of time. He hits him right on the break, just hitting the sideline pattern. Lockett catches it for another first down. Gain of 18. We were talking about Gainer and his rushing. If you take away the sacks, Gainer has gained 64 yards tonight, including a touchdown run of 12 yards. Monty Hampton in motion. From the 18 to Fresno State. Doug Gainer in trouble this time, a lot of trouble, and he is going to be sacked. It is Greg Ramsey, the junior from Kalinga. This is the only weakness that Gainer has. He wants to hang on to that ball, hang on to that ball, and, and uh, he should take off and, and run uh, <laughs> when the season is protected breaking down. Or throw it out of bounds. And now, it goes back to the line of scrimmage. Now, Sweeney has not been sacked all night. That's correct. So the ball was on the 18. Now it's all the way back to the 34. That's a loss of 16. Troy Ori to the left and Lockett to the right. Gaines will be in the slot. 
Mark Templeton is the running back, but they like to throw to him coming out of the backfield. Will Gator do it again? Yep, there it goes to Templeton. And here comes Peterson. He's got him. Slips away. Slowed him up enough for the rest of the Bulldogs to nail him there at the 29. Peterson had him, and he was able to just uh, move away at the last split second. Uh, it's amazing how Peterson gets out there in the flat and covers those receivers. And, and he's, he's got good ability for linebacker, but he's running against a halfback there now, and he didn't quite have enough, enough speed to hang on to him. Hanneman made sure to put him down. Ball is at the 28 of Fresno State. It'll be third down. Third down and 20 for Long Beach. Doug Gaynor in trouble again. And Gaynor goes down. It's Byron Nichols. Nichols, a defensive back, a junior from San Diego, and he probably has some relatives up here tonight. And Gaynor is sacked for the seventh time this evening. The Bulldogs brought one of their corner halfbacks on a blitz, and it was very effective because now they it looks like they put the 49ers out of field goal range. Are they calling the play back? There's a there's a flag on the play. And it'll be against Fresno State. Larry Rice, the referee. Offsides. Well, that was a costly penalty because now they're still in field goal range. But that, he, he was sacked all the way back to his own 40-yard line. And they have another shot here offensively before they even tried the field goal. Third and 15, the ball at the 23. Charles Lockett to the left, Corey to the right, with games in the slot. Penalty marker dropped. Another one across the way. Gainers toss. No good to lock it. Juggled around, and Rod Webster got his fingers on the ball, but he couldn't pull it in for the interception. I think this may be, may be against the offense. It'll be declined, I would think. Could be that a defensive back, Greg Williamson, was across the line. Anyway, the line of scrimmage was the 23. And an offside penalty against Fresno State. So that's two in a row. Personal foul against Long Beach. Offsetting. I often thought that that was an unfair penalty because one is five and the other is 15. What do you think, Debbie? Well, like they, the rule says that they're offsetting foul. I know that. I realize that. But they... The, uh, That's like if I said to you, hey, give me change for a five, and I give you the change. Oh, well, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a five anyway. <laughs> That's like saying, give me two, two tens for a five. Huh? <laughs> Something <laughs> like that. It's still third and 15, the ball at the 23. I see the, the, the defensive backs getting up across the line of scrimmage here. Gainer throws this one complete. Hampton has it. Monte Hampton down to the eight yard line. A first down for Long Beach. First and goal to go at the eight. Hampton was double, double covered all the way and still caught the ball. It was really a, a great play for the 49ers. Very good pass. He was double covered. Defensive backs and the great shape, but Quentin Hampton picked it out of the air. That offside penalty looms bigger and bigger now, Mike. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Gaines and Martin Sarton are the split backs for Doug Gainer. First and goal at the eight. And off goes to Sarton. Sarton is pulled on at the six. Byron Nichols had a hold of his jersey at the back, and he was able to pull him down. Well, this is where they've got to contain the quarterback. He's going to, if he goes to the air, because this is where he likes to take off and run. That's right. He did for 12 yards in the first touchdown for Long Beach. Tar comes in, along with Tony Harris. A couple of new defensive backs for Fresno State. Coming out, Mike Stewart and Rod Webster. Second and goal, the ball at the Fresno State six. 
Gainer, Laron, touchdown, Doug Gainer. No one within three yards of it. No, that's right. Quarterback draw. It looked like he, he didn't take him long to make up his mind to run. This figured to be a wild and explosive game, and it's turning into just that. We have a little over a minute left in the third quarter. And if Kaler can kick the extra point now, Long Beach will be within seven. Well, we've told you all night about Long Beach and the ability of the 49ers to come from behind. And a timeout has been called now by Long Beach. We have 1-11 left in the third quarter, 24-16 as we line up for the point after. Today's game is brought to you by Pepsi and your local Pepsi Cola bottler. The reason for the timeout call by Long Beach, I do not see Kaler, the place kicker out there. So apparently the 49ers are going to go for the two. Hello, everybody. This is.